Hey, everybody, this is uh, Vince Gilligan, executive producer of Breaking Bad. Hi, Brian Cranston. Uh, Aaron Paul, hello. Moira Wally Beckett. And Moira. Or Moira Lou, yeah. according to Vince. Yes, I call, you, I call you Moira Lou. Moira That's my Lou. little pet name. I love this sequence right here. And this then. is the coolest footage. Moira and Sam Catlin wrote this episode, and you guys did a yeah. fantastic job. And uh, tell, tell us about this footage, Moira, of the fly. Uh, we found this footage uh, by an, enth- an enthusiast had posted it on YouTube. And, and we were cruising through on, on the internet trying to find some interesting footage of, of actual flies to bring huh. up to speed on when the When you episode. say that, an enthusiast, a fly enthusiast? <laughs> a fly <laughs> enthusiast. Wow. And, Just uh, love flies. Yep. And then, so, uh, that stuff's hard to shoot, too. you got to use a microscope. I mean, it's really tricky. Yeah, it yeah. was a heck of a thing. I love this cut coming up. I love this cut. Mm-hmm. That is a great... Yeah. Uh, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, lovely love young man. So excellent, excellent director. This is the first time we've worked with him. He is, uh, he is a, a... This yeah. was his first episode of television. Yes. Yeah. And he, yeah, and he he's is a feature guy. he's a feature guy. He's uh, immediately uh, uh, hit pause on this, uh, run out, rent or buy the movie Brick, and also yeah. the movie The Brothers Bloom. Uh, both yeah. movies he has written and directed. Terrific, terrific movies, and a fun energy. Uh, and that's that's also important. You could be a terrific talent, mm. but when you have to work in a fast pace in an environment with a lot of people. Personality means a lot. It's yeah. true, and I love. Yeah. You know, we shoot in Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, and I love that he had so many uh, visitors come to set. You know, like family members drove out and like hung out on set. That's cool. It was great. Yeah, he comes from a really great family. But Ryan's energy—he's just—he's so unflappable. Yeah. He's relaxed, but he's precise. And that's exactly what we needed when you're trying to shoot an episode like this, yeah. what we call a bottle episode, that's all on one location, essentially. Yes. yes. Yeah. You wanna, I, I think that's interesting. Uh, do you want to speak to what a bottle that. episode is and what it means? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to Yeah, you go ahead. That, go, no, you go ahead. Okay. Well, um, there's a number of reasons why a series has to... Uh, on occasion, write a bottle episode, and it, and it often has to do with cost. And so you try to write an episode that doesn't have any locations out so that we can shoot most, the most economically within the sets that we already own on our stages. And we took that idea, and as we are wont to do, took it to the extreme and thought, not only are we going to shoot a bottle episode, but we're going to shoot... And you know, highly unusual episode, basically on one location for the entire thing, and that was the task that we set for ourselves. And and as usual, as all, or as often the case, I mean, it came from a very. I mean, we needed to save. We were over budget for the season. We needed yeah. to save a big chunk of money, and uh, therefore, because of that, because of that very real world uh, production problem that we had created for ourselves previously to this episode, uh, we, we came up with what, for my money, is one of the very best episodes we've ever done. I love this episode. I wish Ryan was able Thanks. to be here. And, and I, I wish you, too. you guys did, you and Sam did such a great job writing this, and of course, Mr. Cranston we and Mr. Mr., uh, Mr. Paul did such a great job acting It was it. such a joy. I mean, the challenge, uh, notwithstanding, to get to just write an hour of dialogue between Walt and Jesse, we were thrilled. We were just thrilled. And Sam and I are, are both historically playwrights and, and it just it was it was just the best undertaking ever. Yeah, and it felt it felt like a play. It did. It really felt from like from an actor's standpoint. Yeah, it felt like an actor's two character play. Yeah. yeah. Great job. Ryan is uh, in the middle of shooting, I believe, a science fiction movie uh, of his own devising that he wrote, I believe, as we speak. Yeah. They're shooting yeah, in uh, Looper. Looper, shot in, shooting in, I believe, New Orleans. And, uh, yeah. otherwise, it's really cool. Yeah. I read it. Yeah, it's, it's really, really great. cool. Oh, cool. I didn't know you read it. I want to read it. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> I, I have it. You oh, shit. I was very flattered. He actually uh, asked me to read it oh, in, notes, or in an early draft. Oh, wow. It's yeah, it's, it's really, really uh, well it's conceived. It's out there. It's great. I, yeah. bet, I bet it's great. He's very, very talented. There's so many things we should. I wish you were here to talk about. He wanted to be here. Uh, 
Like that shot you saw a little ways back when Jesse was uh, 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 scraping away with the scrub brush on the on the. Uh, oh yeah. The brush cam. Was that there was brush a, cam. a little bit of little video camera mounted to your brush when yeah, you, and yeah. you yeah yeah. Yep, specialty shot. Awesome. He and you know Ryan. I mean, most directors they they certainly prepare a shot list and everything. But Ryan had a whole notebook with little hand drawn pictures, like a flip book with every single shot, angles, pictures, little details written down. Yeah. Super uh, detail. And, you know, normally with with directors. Uh, in episodic uh, television, he, they they will come out an episode early uh, to prep their episode and then shoot. But he came out two episodes early so he could shadow a director because he's never done TV before, and so he was out in Albuquerque for quite some time. That's that's great. That's all, right. All that preparation that. paid off. Yeah. And Mr. Cranston and all here. this, uh, Mr. <laughs> Cranston and his fabulous physicality. Talk about this bit, Brian. What is it? What's the deal here? Is it about to happen? Well, <laughs> <laughs> chaos. He's so good at this stuff. I know. You're I mean, a it's genius almost, at this stuff. Um, I know you work hard at it, Brian, but you make it look so effortless. Well, uh, a you, lot of this is well. There's there is no fly, right? And, and so you're just <laughs> right. imagining it, and the. the the fly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's great. That's one of my favorite moments. He came up with that. That was great. Yeah, Brian came up with that. Uh, that. That you have to just imagine that the fly is around, and then in post, they, as you can see, the fly in the in the shot. That's all put in in post, and so they just put it to wherever I happen to be reacting to. Um, Excellent. This, this thing coming up, coming up here. You did this like oh, you every whack single your head. time and made it look like it hurt. <laughs> Every time, it was just. I just, genius. I just felt it. I, I needed to increase his frustration yeah. level so that it would get Hello. to this point. Like this, mother, this is like. Oh my God, I got this. And these shots, these are classic Ryan yeah. shots. Yeah. yeah, you know. Excellent, and and you're really good with your aim here. You really. With your yeah. shoe, I'm really impressed. Like every take, well, friends, very athletic. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. And although that first one, I wanted to say, there's so much to talk about with this one. It's so much. I like that, so much. That first fly on the table before you hit it the first time, that was a real fake fly. They blew away with air. Is that correct? Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah and we hired a guy who specific, who makes uh, makes lures, right? And he. <laughs> Um, he made us a whole bunch of all different size flies, um, from practical size to a little bit extra large. We had a wide variety for our purposes. Yes. And they were incredibly intricate. Just yeah. beautiful. Weren't they pretty spendy, those flies? Expensive? Like yeah. 200 bucks each or something. Yeah. Which actually, we got our money's worth because they, they were excellent. Yeah, we did. I excellent. have a couple home as pets now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Michelle McLaren got took a bunch of them and uh, put them into little plexiglass cubes for us as mementos. Yeah, oh, that's so nice. great. Year. Yeah. Yeah. So we that was very sweet. A little, fly. A little memento. Yeah, I love yeah. this shot this, coming up. It's so seamless. This, this shot. And this stunt was insane. Yeah. Brian right there has a cable around his waist that we had to digitally yes. right. erase afterwards. We digitally removed it. That's by OSHA Which standards, they, I think. They, yeah. they make you do that. But this stunt coming yeah. up, Ed Roosh, Ed, uh, Ed, uh, uh, I forget Ed's name. Ed, Ed, yes. Um, and this fly, of course, was added in. Talk, talk about this coming up here, but Brian. This, yeah. this guy, we, yeah. Uh, uh, Do you want to tell about it, Brian? Well, watch this. Oh, oh, oh boom. Uh, uh, and then boom. no cut. So that's the stunt guy. That's the stunt. So uh, the camera stayed in a stationary position, locked off. Yep. And I went in there and, and got his positioning as close as, as I could. And yep. then laid down, traded places, he left, I got in, and then they started the camera again and pushed in so it looked seamless like it was me mm -hmm. who did it. And so yeah. And they did I it right that. there too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's that's a completely fake digital fly yeah. created. We should speak yeah, at this point. It. We uh, great directing, great acting, great stunt job. Ed Duran. He's a tough guy and a very, very skilled stuntman.
And then the last piece of that puzzle is a, a gentleman named Matt Beck and his amazing crew oh, of, of visual effects artists. Matt used to work with me on the X-Files years ago, and he's a very talented individual, and he and his guys uh, did that seamless transition there, and they also did all the fake, uh, not fake, all the, all the, all the computer-generated flies, like the one you just saw land on Brian's uh, yeah. glasses, and then also all the little uh -huh. tiny fly flying around. All that Good stuff was change. done digitally. No. That Jane. That was one of my particularly favorite pieces of scoring, also. Yeah. Porter. Dave beautiful. Dave Porter, our uh, composer, always does such amazing work. <laughs> <laughs> and his his music is very spare, but but uh, but always always wonderfully tasteful and evocative and emotional. Yeah. We have had a series of fortunate uh, accidents on this show, and and I think this show represents that. Uh, Moira talked about it before, the challenges of working in this kind of context where it's uh, you're confined because of budgetary uh, restraints. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know if, I mean, you were asked to, as, as our executive, executive producer, Sony, and, and you were talking about finances, and the, the marriage of art and, and finances has always been a precarious one. And what was your reaction to that? When they asked you about, would you consider doing a bottle show? Would you do this? And were you for it initially? Or? I, I, I am not against it philosophically. I just... Uh, it's tough. It's tough enough to do an interesting, exciting show that takes that ranges over many locations and whatnot. But when you add the extra uh, stricture of, of of having to have it take place all essentially in one spot, just makes the job tougher. Uh, I was not against it philosophically, but I was I was nervous about it. I was thinking we all were, all the writers, Moira and Sam, and and all of us writers. Yeah. When we but we when we came up with this, we didn't we didn't think it would work necessarily. I was we none of us were 100 percent sure. Yeah. That it would work as it an episode. So unusual. Yeah. Just such a departure. Yeah. And this was, even in the writer's room, it was a departure because um, it was what we call a two board show. Normally, we board out on with our index cards what the whole episode is going to be. This had so much detail. Um, because it was so play like that, we unprecedentedly used two whole boards. Which almost made Vince's head explode. It, it's yeah, we'd never, I'd never seen that before. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. And can I just tell you guys, when Sam and I were writing this scene, um, where the where the fictitious fly that Jesse isn't even sure he believes in yeah. actually does land on Walt's head, we howled. They could hear us in the whole office building. When Jesse's like, "No, no, no, I'll get it. Oh, yeah. I'll get it. I, okay, on the count of three. <laughs> and he that, goes one, yeah. and then he doesn't wait. It, it's clocks. It's, him. It was so much fun we were, to do. To, you just wanted to hit we were me. Yeah, I just wanted to hit so him so hard. Um, because before you. You kind of nailed me with the, that thing. Um, my arm kind of hurt. <laughs> so my But as a character, as Jesse, like hitting wall, it's just, I really got into the, it. Uh, well, that's, that's another. <laughs> it's magic. Another one of the happy accidents that this wow. episode seemed to have a lot more levity naturally built into it like that. Mm -hmm. And. And I know you don't plan for that. I don't think you can say, let's make this episode funnier. No, it's just, no. just the, the circumstances that these two characters found them in created an opportunity for, yeah. some, for some humor. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. That's perfectly said. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are so are so You're, good here. And throughout this whole episode, you guys are so good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. He can't even finish his sentence. Yeah, he's I know. So he's so focused. Consumed. What is your uh, fly saber there? What is it made out of? Ah, uh, the fly saber. It was uh, like a you know a a, a tube that uh, they actually from like uh, wrapping paper. Okay. Right, the inner tube. Right. Yeah. And then wrapped with foil. And a hanger. And a hanger. And, and more like saran wrap. And tape. And tape. And duct tape. Yeah. Let me ask you duct something. Tape. What the hell do you have wrapping paper in a meth lab for? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no. We were imagining that it was the tube from the foil. Tube? Tape. That was a, that was a uh, joke. Tube from the foil. That was a joke. Yeah. 
Perfectly uh, logical. Perfectly logical. Classic Ryan shot again. Yeah. That moving shot. Ryan is such a good editor, by the way. And Kelly Dixon, who edited oh, this yeah. episode, who did a marvelous job, as she always does, does excellent, excellent work as always. Uh, she told me a story. Ryan said to her one time, sitting on the couch behind her, she, he said, I'm going to make all your dreams come true now, Kelly. And she said, what does that mean? And, and he said, stand up. And she stepped out of the way, and he sat down in her chair and started running the Avid for her. The Avid, the, the editing computer we cut all our episodes on. So, uh, stone. So he, uh, he knows how to run that thing. I look at that thing, it's like I might as well be on the space shuttle at Atlantis yeah, space or something. Exactly. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. But I also, I, w- I wouldn't, you know, I would tell Kelly to walk away. Well, no, she liked it. She got, she was tickled by it. She got a kick out of it? Yeah, she got a kick. He did, he did a couple scenes. Seen the thing. Maybe your positive <laughs> pressure blew it out the door or something. No, no. But Kelly uh, definitely edited this episode, as as does Skip when he edits his episode. We are blessed with uh, two of the very yeah, best editors in the amazing. business, and they really put these they're things so together awesome. marvelously. Yeah. Or you can help me. But you are yeah. right. We are running out of time, so I need your answer right now. Is that like a fake bag or a real bag that you were holding there all that time? That's Was it a real light? Bag. That's not light. No. Yeah. It's heavy. Okay. He had a, a, a big chore. I mean, a big task of yeah. shooting an entire episode inside this box. Yeah. And make yeah. it interesting. And he, he swears that this was the, of if he'd had his choice to direct any episode, this is the one he would have chosen. Really? Because of the challenge. Yeah. 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 It should be said or that, that, you know, that the, the directors of our show are booked months in advance and they they do so not knowing with any iota of what exactly the episode will turn out to be or even any information on it that's true i love 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 (laughs) this little speech coming up and i love this reveal i love this reveal Uh uh-huh oh that was a fun thing brian asking me he was like who wrote the pig lips and assholes? <laughs> uh, that that'd be me. <laughs> and so he ladylike. Backed away a step. I know. <laughs> I love this reveal. Okay. It's like this horror movie reveal coming. <laughs> pig lips and assholes. <laughs> and I say, hey, have at it, bitches. I love. Hot dog. <laughs> watch this. Watch this great reveal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's like a horror film. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you yeah, holding your yeah, weapon. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> he's like, Walt is going crazy. <laughs> you know what was so nice about all the levels, Brian? You were talking about the ability to have this behavioral levi- levity that just occurred. But it also has <laughs> so much poignancy in it too. It's mm. not. <laughs> it's got a, it's got it operates a minute every right there. He <laughs> smacked me so hard. <laughs> <laughs> he smacked me so hard. And then this that was not like... acting. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, right. brother. <laughs> it's all good. I get you back coming up. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's this is a combination of a fake fly stuck to your head and then and then a computer yes. generated and that's a computer generated fly because you see it moving a little bit there. Yeah, but one, we did yeah. stick one to his head to have a great still photo of that. Yeah, actually. and it's a mix of those two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be happy to. Yeah. <laughs> so what you call a slow burn? I love this. Slow. <laughs> Listen to you. And then, oh, then, then Brian has this great moment where he doesn't really want to surrender the fly saber. Yeah. Because it's his. So, I love this. And he doesn't want to. Oh, okay. It's okay. Damn it. It's okay. I got it. It's fine. Give it. Hand it over. It, yeah, there you go. Good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it. Okay. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Did that hurt? I don't know. No, we had a we had a, a yeah. setup on yeah. that. I don't know what uh, Aaron is talking about. A bit having it hurt. It didn't hurt at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, think, no, there were two different versions. One that was a soft, and I think, and one that was yeah. Mm. The, but the one you insisted on hitting Aaron with had a piece of steel rebar inside. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> for, for accuracy. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I definitely. I'm <laughs> raising. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. He's got some skills. <laughs> Mad skills. <laughs> some skills, man. I'll give him that. Running uh, out. So, what's really going on in this episode, uh, Moira? What, what's going on with Walt here? Why is he acting the way he's acting? Walt's Im he's Im he's imploding. You know, it's a cumulative. So much has happened, and he just he's gotten. So overwhelmed with guilt that. and fear and regret and he you know he's it's it's manifesting in this way where he's just sort of in no desperate need to have control over something what do you think Brian uh, that the last part you said is what is the only thing that I was really f focused on is is yeah in his life is spinning out of control and in here he thought he was the master of of at least this space, and now that's getting out of control, and he's got to maintain. If he can't get control of this space, he has no hope. Yes. Yeah. If I can control but one little so corner of the universe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's so worn down, and he's so distressed that it just kind of takes him over. Do you notice that through my distress at that moment, I added more wrinkles to my forehead? Just <laughs> you know, yeah, that, that I, wasn't even CGI. That I, I don't normally have, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's just dedication, Brian. Oh, wait, do you have your keys? I really believe there's air sure? going through this thing at a million you. miles an hour. Yeah. It's all acting and it's sound effects. Job? Yeah. 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 And then this is so great. Look at that. I love this this line coming up. Somebody got an axe. Yo, yo, does somebody have an axe I can use? <laughs> <laughs> L Axo. That was me. L Axo. Yeah. <laughs> of course, asking laundry workers, do you have an axe? Someone must and then have. Then we get a little Warner Brothers here. And man, no, oh, this is better. This is no, a, wait. It's either Warner Brothers or Pulp Fiction. With the, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, Pulp yeah. Fiction, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Principal. Ah. I like it because uh, <laughs> Jesse's really smart there. That's a yeah. smart, he smart is. way to deal with this. Jesse's a smart Good. kid. He is. I, 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 let's, I, let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I did love it. that. I love how you did that. <laughs> this is, this, that was Brian, yeah, too. That was that great. Was, that was a Brian moment. <laughs> 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 All this physical stuff. <laughs> you really, and you, the scope of the lab, you know. It, yeah, and now it, just, it, yeah. You really get every inch of the lab in this yeah. episode. And, and you, you, folks at home, you'd be surprised. This, this is a big set. It's an amazing set. It costs quite a pretty penny to build a lot of genius mm -hmm. went into making it but it is in person it's smaller than it looks on camera so the very fact that an hour is spent in this thing and and interestingly to for my money is is even more impressive mm -hmm. when you when you know how small this lab kind of <laughs> yes. feels in real life i love these angles no, no. look we're trying to decontaminate yeah we're ryan wanted to do this shot <laughs> yeah he surprised the crew, and they just, boom, made it happen. Yeah. This crew is the best crew on TV, and they, they are so yeah, enthusiastic yeah, yeah. and gung-ho yeah. and so talented, and they just they get it done Sorry, week in and week out. Hang them up all over the place. won't be able to resist. And this uh, set deck coming up I just looks so amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And bizarre. All the dangling yeah. fly strips. <laughs> fly strips are nasty. Yes. I mean, they serve a purpose. I'm glad they exist, but they're, I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, we had to do a lot of interesting tests just, you know, mm -hmm. to get a little air movement in there. And this is, uh, I love this, I love this act. This is you two guys. Me too. You guys crush this. This is so yeah. good. This is the part where we, I wish you'd been on stage at the Geffen. I mean, it's just so play-like here, <laughs> these monologues. Bastard. Slipping me Sweet a Mickey there. Slipping me a Mickey. It was fun trying to come up with a name that we could clear for these fake What'd you call titles. it? Samanol, something like that? So Yeah, something. But yeah. Actually, when Ryan's family was here, they were, we were all brainstorming. We had a contest to see who could come oh, up with really? the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesse's so sweet. Trying to do the right thing. He's trying to just, you know, get him some rest, you know? Yeah. By drugging him. That's such a good moment Wild there. It's like... In your house. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this... I love this bed. <laughs> you ever have a wild animal trapped in your house? <laughs> like a legitimate question. Natural segue. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent blocking. Gravel the possum. Yeah. Yes. I love, I love Jesse uh, just sitting on the here. trash can instead of the, like the mm -hmm. ladder, you know? Yeah. Yes. We use that too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which, which you guys do use. It's, it's so well blocked. You guys did such a great job. It really is. Old possum. <laughs> Sounds like Things he's Irish. Are important to Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. It's important to think Don't about it. Peak rat faces, totally freaky, alien rats. <laughs> Actually, it's not so much that he got trapped. Uh, I'm sorry Sam couldn't be here. Unfortunately, he was unable to make oh, yeah. it. But you and, and Sam worked very well together on this. Both of you uh, share equal credit on this and did such a great job so equally. How did how'd you break it up? We broke it up by act. Um, so Sam wrote the teaser. I wrote acts one and three, this act that we're watching now. Right. And Sam wrote acts two and four. And I love all that funny stuff. And, and two. there's so much emotion and funny stuff in, in all four of these acts. You guys uh, yeah. split it up very nicely. Hard to tell who wrote what because you guys work together very well. We did. It was a great collaboration. Is there a discernible point <laughs> to all this? Took forever. Guy came. I love how it turns very, very subtly here. It suddenly gets serious. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Very and well. Jesse's, you know, secretly worried that there's yeah, something really wrong. Yeah, because he sees, with yeah. he sees something. Back. Yeah, exactly. He can't figure out what the hell's reminds, going on. Yeah. Reminds him of his aunt. He's got a very good point coming up here that he's about to wow us with, or not wow, wow is too strong a word because this is so nice and subtle, but yeah, about to sober us up here, as it were. Even, even gave it a name. And then I love how you, Brian, you hear this. I mean, you you play it. We're not sure Brian, uh, uh, Walt heard it at first. This point coming up here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very well done. Very well. Very well but done. He all understands around. the point. Yeah. Yeah. But obsessive about stuff. It's just kind of bad. I forget. Was this shot in eight days, or did we end a little early? Did we go the full eight on this one? I think we did. I think we did too. I think we did too. I mean, it, it, it absolutely makes sense because there's so many angles, so many, so many mm -hmm. pieces that Ryan got. And sometimes is uh, the request is to try to make the eight day schedule into seven if you're doing a bottle show. But I think bottle. they they granted us the full eight days to be able to do it. And that just gives us more time. We we had the luxury of rehearsing this. Mm -hmm. with no crew around and uh, like a play we just had the principal people there ryan and moira and to to be able to rehearse and, and feel it before we shot it and typically what what do you do uh brian and aaron you, you in, a, in a perfect world and this was uh, something of a perfect world you rehearse it and you you get it to feel right as as actors as as, as characters and then and then it's a matter of uh Sort of feeling th feeling way through it, and then it's a matter of I guess the the director and the Michael Slovis, our director of photography, figuring out how to cover it, where to put the cameras for each moment. That's the best of all worlds is when when mm -hmm. the the actors can, with the with the director, figure out what makes sense of where to go, what feels organic, mm -hmm. and then 
do the blocking to it. We don't don't always have that luxury because of the the time element in television that has to go very quickly, and we're restricted in that sense. So we we have uh, in in TV uh, you have a, a truncated uh, process of of working and. You get it's a craft, and you get you get used to working quickly mm -hmm. and doing it. Um, this, however, we had somewhat of a luxury time, one set really, and and mm -hmm. uh, so because there was that time, we were able to rehearse it and block it out organically or as organically as we could. Yes. Yeah. It pays off clearly. Mm -hmm. And in fact, um, I think there was something spectacular that that happened here that has left me in awe of both of you because we shot this scene over the course of an afternoon and then we came back the next morning oh, yeah. and we needed to do it again. And it was early yeah. and we put the so camera in one position and Brian and Aaron, they performed this like word perfect, flawlessly, like no time had passed, just, just reinvented it again in one take. And and Bri Brian and I actually made made a deal that we wouldn't read it over. We would just go on really? set and just and just I didn't do know it. That. Wow. And that, that's what they said. Do you want to run it? And we're like, just let's just roll it. Yeah. Wow. And wow. Yeah. And you know that. And we were like, oh, oh, okay, because it's you know twelve oh. pages or something insane. And yeah. They, that's why that's why I say I wish we'd been at the Geffen because you, you guys just that's that, play. That is so impressive. Yeah, it really was. A page, of course, in a script is is what you're hoping for. Is it roughly equates to a page a minute? So if you have a 12-page scene, that's you know like 12 minutes. And that's that's very impressive. And yeah, and they both had these enormous monologues. Specific order. This part I always find really moving. Yeah, very moving. It's first so well played. This is an episode. So tortured. Yeah. yeah. This is an episode that, that I, I hear people, I hear this episode brought up so often to me, 99 times out of 100, it's like, I love this episode. A few people out there don't, it wasn't their favorite. But yeah. it's like, it's one, it's, and that's... Where's, it's, where's we, the action? Where's everybody else? Yeah, and that's not surprising when you think about it. It's, it's, a, it's such a different kind of episode that mm -hmm. when, you, when you really reach for something different, it's either going to please people or it's not. It also makes people yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. The claustrophobic nature yeah. of this. Yeah. And... That's a good but, point. Yeah. But uh, I just love this dilemma that he's feeling now, that he missed his perfect opportunity mm -hmm. to die. Yeah. It uh, was, was such a profound thought, thought process. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he thought about it. This is, this right here, which you just put your finger on, this is the point of the whole episode. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. Enormous regret. Yeah. But uh, this is this is always going to remain one of my very favorites of uh, you know no matter how many seasons we do yeah. this is I love this episode. Me too. You know, I, I, I a dream of an actor is to just uh, truly get lost in a scene and you really feel like you're living in that that moment. Um, and I definitely did get lost. Right? I mean, this entire entire scene. And here another dangerous moment. When yes. <laughs> when Walt in his state uh, may very close to revealing his culpability in, in Jane's death. Right. He dances to the edge of accidental confession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Moira, uh, you, re you recall uh, all of us in the writer's room. You, you and Sam wrote this episode. Uh, obviously, all the episodes we, we all sort of... Uh, get together as a group all all seven of us uh and we kind of mm -hmm. we talk everything through uh and then in great uh, detail in great detail and and we talked quite a bit in the writer's room uh on this one about should we go ahead and, and actually go the whole the whole the full monty or whatever and, and have uh -huh. have walt actually admit to what he's his culpability or yeah. his lack of action with uh, uh, in regards to jane's death allowing jane to yeah, yeah and to we talked we talked about it for uh, at least, I don't know, a whole afternoon at least. We kept coming back to it, yeah. though. I mean, we, we sort of talked about it over the months, too. Yeah. That's wow. true. Um, but we we ultimately felt like that was it was have be so huge. Yeah. And 
too be huge. Such a, such a betrayal that we, yeah, it would be too huge mm. for them to ever, ever overcome. continue on yeah. together. Yeah. So we danced right up to the very end of, edge of it instead. I, I, if I could weigh in on that, I think sure. it makes it more dramatic that it, that it got mm. to the edge and didn't. Really. Yeah, I think so too. Family. Without you know, family. It's, it's sort of a good philosophy in general to try and to give as little as possible. And it, that sounds like a, it's a hard thing to put into words, but you, you always want to give a lot in in your storytelling. But in a weird way, you want to give as little as it takes to be exciting and interesting. And, mm -hmm. and that, that sort of goes for any episode of this show. You, you want to you want to give the bare minimum so that you have somewhere else to go in a later episode. And, and yet the bare minimum has to include within it, you know, it has to be dramatic, it has to be interesting. That's sort of our philosophy yeah. is to give as little yeah. as possible, which sounds weird, but that is kind of the way it works. My God, the universe is random. It's I love all this stuff. Chaos. It's, it's subatomic particles and endless in. Yeah. collision. That's what science teaches us. But what is this saying? What is it telling us when, on the very night that this man's daughter dies, poor Walt, it's me who's having a drink with him. How can that be random? Oh, hey, sit down. This is a weird question, Brian. What's the story with your glasses? You don't, you don't, you don't use them in real life, right? Are they, what do you, what are you seeing when you look through them? Is everything magnified or? Um, no, it's it's uh, just glass, just clear glass on top. But there's a magnification bifocal down at the bottom. Oh, okay. So I do need glasses to read. Um, uh, you know, newspapers and things like that. Gotcha. Cause so, it, so that's all I use. But, for, but Walt is, is, needs them to just see. Gotcha. <laughs> he's yeah, just, yeah. He's not very good. But it looks like they got some kind of curve to them. They don't look like that window pane stuff you used to see in old movies where, where the actor didn't really need glasses, but uh, they faked it. Yeah, no, they have a, yeah, yeah a they, machine to it. They're kind of well done. This moment's just oh, so this heartbreaking. Deep sorrow and regret. It was. I love this, yeah. I was fighting through the drug. Watching TV. How do you guys keep going there, take after take? How do you how do you keep yeah. going? I mean, I, obviously you guys are pros. You've been doing it for skills. years. Yeah, that <laughs> skills, yeah. Skills. <laughs> Is it something you learn? Is it something you're born with? What, what do you think, Brian? How you keep going? I mean, uh, you you I had think to, it's both. What, and then more you going to, back to that emotional state. Born with talent, and then and then technical skill. To make it fresh and repeat it every time. For actors and I th and for writers too is is the the empowerment of affecting change, emotional change in people, is what gets us excited, right? Mm -hmm. So when you mm -hmm. when as writers, if you you have people gasping in the audience of your watching your oh. play or something. It's like, oh my God, I moved this entire. <laughs> that's powerful. Right. And same thing with acting is that for us, it's a performance art that that you can affect change, and it's just it just makes you feel strong. I mean, it's just terrific. That's that's amazing. It's amazing you do it over and over again, repeat it over and over again. That's that. I can. Uh, well, that as Moira was right, that part is. Is craft Technical that you have skill. to really yeah. develop and, and pace yourself yes. and gotcha. know when to shut down the engine so mm -hmm. that you can come back. You know, gotcha. So. Yeah. Great right Ryan shot right here. Yeah. All this stuff is so great. I love that. I love the shot that opened it. I think that was done at yeah, uh, fly cam. Yeah, well, that was done with the camera on a uh, on a on a gear head and and spun around mm -hmm. very quickly uh, <laughs> at, at probably the camera shooting it. I don't know, six or eight or ten frames a second, something like that. He's not coming down. I think that's how that one was done. He's staying up there forever. Yeah. I love the attention to detail from Matt Beck and his uh, visual effects guys because, you know, how do you, how do you do a fly? I mean. You, you you want you, it's like you you're spending money on the on the shot. You want the mm -hmm. thing to move so that so that it doesn't look like you just glued a raisin up there. Mm -hmm. And if you look real closely, <laughs> and you know if you're lucky lucky enough to be watching this on Blu-ray on an HD TV set, you'll notice a little bit of 
you know, a little bit of uh, movement here and there, but it's very subtle because, of course, in real life, it's pretty subtle you know, what a fly looks like yeah. from across a room. You know, I, I watched this episode with my, with my entire family in Idaho, and oh, know, yeah? this, this is the moment where <laughs> Your the, entire, freaking out. the entire audience <laughs> is thinking, is, is, is oh, Walt going... Bad idea. Is, no, not necessarily walking on the ladder, but is Walt going... Oh. To confess? To confess. Oh. Right, right. And everyone is screaming at the TV saying, no, no, don't, don't <laughs> oh, do really? it. Don't do it. Well, speak of, speaking of that, is your family saying, what are they making you risk your life here? What is that, what is that, what is that jerk uh, Vince not, making you? cross their mouth off. <laughs> talk, talk, <laughs> talk about how you did this, by the way. Um, that was actually, it was bolted down. Yeah. Um, it was. Yeah, it was bolted down. And we had you on the harness. Didn't, I, yeah, I had a wire on as well, right? You, you had a wire yeah. leading up to the ceiling uh, yeah. that if you yeah. had fallen, a couple of guys would have caught you, and you you know yeah. you would have just dangled there. You're right. Uh, sort of like the way they fly uh, Peter Pan or whatever, right? It's, it's sort yeah. of like a like a flying harness kind of thing if you had fallen. Mm -hmm. But you never fell though, is that correct? No. Yeah. And then we had to digitally erase that. That was, as I recall, uh, Matt and his guys and, and Diane Mercer, our wonderful uh, post producer, and Andrew Ortner uh, also works with Diane. As I remember they were saying, one of the hardest shots of all, <laughs> one of the hardest series of shots was actually erasing your harness in these particular scenes. Mm. Kind of harder than some of the fly stuff, in fact. It's, it's, mm. it's funny how some of the more mundane uh, shots turn out to be like you know here. Yeah, like this that. is where we yeah. really needed the harness. Yeah, oh, you yeah. had the harness on here. I didn't yeah. want to wear it, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you didn't need it. I didn't need it. I mean, I wasn't gonna fall. <laughs> it, it looks so precarious, though. And yeah. it was. Yeah. I mean, if you had fallen, you would have you would have fallen, but they would have they would have caught you on the on the cable. Look but. at look at. Oh, I love this Walt's moment. face. Yeah. But here you weren't you weren't it's even so that sorry. high here for this stuff, right? This was no, more no. Yeah. All right. I love this moment you play. What's so sweet about this is that Jesse's trying to rescue him. Yeah. And Walt's yeah. almost telling him, I killed the love of your life. Yeah. It's really just Yeah. You guys are so goddamn good in this episode. Yeah, you are. Oh, a little mismatch there. I didn't even notice that What's before. That? You're holding with both hands yeah. in a close-up, and then on the down angle, you only got one hand. Ryan Johnson, what a terrible director. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's Bush League right there. <laughs> you know what? I've sat through this thing a hundred times. It's the first time uh, I ever noticed it. I never noticed it. Because there were periods because it. as he's fading, the, yeah, yeah. the arms drop. No, it happens. You're not that. robots. You I guys love, aren't robots. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. And then coming up is a, one of the wonderful uh, fake flies falling to earth yeah. at like 120 frames a second or, fi or 500 frames a like second. Like a gunslinger Specialty pulls shot. out his yeah. gun. Yeah. yeah. And that's all digitally done, that fly out of focus in the foreground. Excellent effect. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. I think that was a special camera. Yeah. I think 500 frames a second, I believe. It was the same that's camera fantastic. Yeah. that we used to shoot the falling... Uh, Chicken parts and meth for the Poyos Hermano. Yes, family. and we also used it to we get a shot of the, the bullet that falls past the skull toed yeah. boot of the cousin, the yeah. bullet that oh, Hank, right. Hank uses to blow his brains out <laughs> in the funny. parking lot. Yeah. In uh, in one minute. Yeah, yeah. in the I episode one he, minute. He tucks them in. I know, isn't that, and isn't then that nice? Goes so to, the shoes, that's such a great I touch. Love, yeah. Yeah. Such a great <laughs> touch. Goes back to cooking. And I love these uh, series of time lapse. Uh, kind of things yeah. yeah or that one there excellent attention to he visual detail i love this shot it'll be okay me too very striking sort of mythic mm. we're hoping to get ryan back for season four it's it'll be schedule dependent because i i think he wants very much to come back and do another one with us I'd love to have him yeah. back yeah we'll see what he does when he has more than one location yeah yeah 202 and change. You okay getting home? Yeah. I love this part, too, because Jesse, Jesse gets kind of tough here. You're thinking it's going to be kind of sweet here, and, and then it's like it gets tough again. Well, Walt kind of, yeah. And Walt's looking out for Jesse here, but it's like... Jesse's a tough guy. But, yeah. <laughs> well, Jesse really. does have a... <laughs> I love that shot through the windows as they lower. 
Uh-huh. This is the same right. shirt. That's the same shirt you were wearing all through uh, Grilled when Tuco yeah. had you in the desert. Tuco had yeah, you Vince and wanted that. Yeah. Shirt specifically again. I wanted it again, even though I think you probably would have thrown it away after that memory of, of being held hostage in the desert. But nonetheless, we, we took a little privilege and brought it back. Mm-hmm. And if they ever found out. I didn't take shit. Do you know we get four shits an episode and that's all we can have? <laughs> and that was yep. one of them. I think it's was it four or five. Not, four. I think, I think four. it's four. 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 One F. One, one F. No, F. no, no. They're the entire season. One F for the entire season. Yeah. Yeah. One it, F. It's, Use it judiciously. I know. Yeah. Uh, pick, pick our moments. I get right, I'm going to do a little spoiler four. alert. That's right. I, I get to um, say the F bomb in season four. Yes. Uh, yeah. And I get to write it. Uh, yeah. That's right. In fact, I have. I have I have it all ready to go yeah. for you. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, you'll, have, you'll have to wait and see uh, which episode that is. <laughs> yes, I'm not telling. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here and never come back. And this close up on the light that was a bigger light that uh, that that Ryan asked to have made. And we had a crane. Yeah. On the light, on the on the on the, on the blinking yeah. red LED light, and yeah. the, and then there's a shot of the uh, the superimposition on I think two frames of the fly that was created uh, after the after the fact. I think created in the editing room uh, oh, yeah, based that's... based on Ryan's request. I remember running up to you during this this scene, Brian, uh, saying, "Did you finish episode twelve yet?" Remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "Did you?" I'm like, just hovering over his back. Yeah. Where we're reading the episodes as we're shooting one, reading others. <laughs> excellent, Nicely done. Excellent episode. Excellent gentlemen. Excellent acting. Excellent writing. Moira and Sam. Yeah. Excellent yes. directing, Ryan Johnson. I, yeah. I love this one. One of my favorites. Me too. And here's the music, this great out cue by our wonderful uh, composer, Mr. Porter. So great. With a little bit of fly sound effect in there. Or I don't know how, exactly how it did it. It's well, great, it was, a, it was a, a, a band made up of flies who actually created the music. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs>